Welcome back to another vlog of mine where me and my friends decided to go on an impromptu trip where we accidentally found a surfer's haven and also accidentally had a lot of fun because we had no expectation at all. So the trip was initially for Edric where we were going to Kuantan to surprise him for his birthday. Obviously, we had to tell him because we're arriving out of nowhere and he needed to pack just in case he would be staying at a hotel. So the birthday boy actually recommended this curry mi that he eats a lot. So I guess we're giving the curry mi a try. And the curry mi looks pretty legit. It's different from the curry mi that we usually have in Penang. It has its own liu, which is a bunch of ingredients that you can pick from. I love barley. Been great. Happy birthday, Adric. Okay, the curry mee is actually pretty good but it's a bit too oily in my opinion but I guess it has the kick and it has the punch and that's what's tied the curry mee together so I wouldn't say that I would eat this every day but once in a while it'd be great Okay, so before we continue the vlog, I have to tell you this really really funny story. So we actually booked a hotel last minute, like literally the day before, out of nowhere without knowing anything about Chara thing. I didn't manage to get a footage of how it looks like from the outside, but I guess from the Google view, this is how it looks like from the outside. And can't be too honest to say that we weren't too disappointed with it, but as we arrive, it's a pretty old place. But you know, since we gotta keep the hype up, I guess it does have its own charm, but I think it's a little bit too not maintained in my opinion. So we headed to check in and this is the card. We got our room number, so we head to our room now. And the walk was pretty pretty long and as you can see from everyone's um, expression, we were hoping that it's not too bad. Now on to the revelation. Well, boy, we were wrong. Wow, actually, you can Four hundred ringgit. Best deal. I mean, everything looks fine. I know it looks fine on the camera, but I will save the churran thing for another video. Wow, look at the pool that no one uses. And look at the coconuts that are just falling to the ground like nobody's business. So anyway, we get ready to head out to the beach and we found out that we actually have a buggy ride that is free. So of course we have to use it to our full advantage. Come on, we're Asian. Arriving at the beach was actually pretty pretty close. We actually didn't need a buggy ride. The beach was honestly really really nicer than I expected because I guess I just came back from Port Dixon. I didn't have any expectation at all. The beach in Chirating was very soft and the overall vibes was just over the roof. It was just so chill. There were cats, there were people just chilling by the beach and surprisingly there are also people who are surfing. The beach is actually so so big that it took us a while to walk to the sea. New couple head. Love Island Chirati. So that! <laughs> so <I'm> in! <laughs> well, that's the hotel that we wanted to stay at, but it was like over 1000 ringgit for two person per night. <laughs> next thing we need to bring next time is back. Yeah. Stay out my So I have to get out my suit top. And we go quantum. Blow it stitch! <laughs> no, but I'm serious! What? Okay, go run, run, Missy. No, no. But you run, I run. You die, I follow. Okay, you run, 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 must run, must run for real. Look back, look back. Don't run like this, ah. <laughs> Look back. <laughs> How are you feeling? I'm feeling really good. Really good. You yeah. like the beach? The beach is actually very nice. Let's go to the beach. Beach. What are you here for? 
Birthday boy. Birthday boy. So whose birthday is it? Nah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Adri. Why are you not singing? Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Woo! My present to you this year is my eternal friendship. One year renewal. Every year renewal. Come, you men talk heart to heart things. I just pretend to be cameraman. Don't talk too much. Don't talk too much. Don't talk too much. Don't talk too much. How do you feel about turning 26? Oh my god, I don't have that feeling. I still think I'm like 21. Nothing changed, nothing grow. What do you hope to do this year? Being a better self. And I wish to play football back. Hopefully I can recover this year. And make more money. Yes, Ken. This one. God of money. Yes. This year is to get rich. I'm pretty you're doing a commercial. When is thirst trapping? Andrew, Andrew! Andrew, what are you doing? Are you eating the cone or the cone? How many times have you done? Three times. Three times. Yes. Ben, how did you get ice cream here? What? What the heck? How? I don't know. What do you mean? I don't know. Does your nose eat? Well, now our beach trip is coming to an end because it started to rain and we ran back to a hotel. And we had some guests over and I guess this is the only reason that we would give the hotel a 1 star. Then the rain actually went away and just like stayed for a while so we went outside and that's Wendy sneakily trying to buy a cake for Edric, but I guess Edric found out lol. actually walking to this restaurant that my friend recommended who comes to Chirating like every other weekend and it's this Chirating Duyung Seafood The vibes is pretty nice at the restaurant I guess There's actually a boat ride for firefly sightseeing and then we sat down and ordered We 
ordered a few dishes mainly like the Zha Sotong which is the fried sotong then grilled tofu we accidentally ordered this drunken chicken without knowing what it is but I would not recommend it then we had some sweet and sour fish which I'm not a big fan of and there's also them ordering like carrot milk because it was so cheap the tom yum was surprisingly very nice like I like it like it's sour and it's really refreshing I would give the meal like maybe a 3 it's not that great happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday to Adric happy birthday After the meal, we decided to take a short walk and see what else we can do at Chirating. And we stumbled upon this shop that does a lot of tie-dye things. So the interesting part about this shop is they actually do make their own designs and their own tie-dye prints in the shop itself where you can actually watch. And the items all are pretty reasonably priced, surprisingly, because I thought that they would, you know, cut throat dories lah. But they didn't lah. Let me tell you, since it was impromptu, right? This shop has everything that you will ever need. You never have to worry about, you know, not being able to get what you need because you can get almost everything in this shop. So we were just looking around about what we need for the night and I mean, it's just one night now. But amazing thing is they have a hot water and they have cup noodle and I think that's the only thing that you really need during a trip. While wandering around, we heard sound coming from this place and we decided to check it out because we were thinking that it's a bar. But little did we know, we actually crashed into someone's private birthday party. But they're pretty nice and the party was great. It was like good vibes all around and we were just enjoying ourselves. The next day, we decided to check out this onboard cafe that was just right beside the party that we crashed the night before. Honestly, they are not joking when they say leave your worries outside because when we stepped in, we immediately felt at peace. It's a very 
very chill cafe. They have food, they have drinks, they have coffee and they actually have a section where you can actually buy clothes that are locally made and also um, the cafe's shirt itself as well with the Ombok logo on it and then I found out that Ombok is actually how you pronounce it in Tengganu. Like in Malaysia, wave is called Ombak but in Tengganu, I guess the dialect or the slang is called Ombok. I guess the cutest thing that they have in this cafe is actually the cat that sits at the door with a security shirt and he really is a security cat because he just sits there and guards the entrance. Is it nice? I would say the food is pretty meh and it's also cafe food price like my friend said that the fish and chips taste like store-bought fish and chips but I guess my sandwich was pretty good because everything was fresh like I had a beef sandwich, beef bacon sandwich and my other friends who ordered the burger also said that the patty they probably bought it from the store as well and it's just meh up, you know not really worth the price you're paying but I guess you could go there for the ambience and the vibes you know it was really really nice like we actually chilled there for quite some time Then we found out that they actually rent out like bicycles so we decided to take the bicycle and try to ride around the area and see what we can find and what we hadn't seen before we head back to KL. Taking over Burns vlog. Hey there. Hey sister. Hi Wayne. How's driving so far? Good. Will you come back? Yes. Um, what would you recommend to people who come here? The <laughs> beach. What is the best thing you like about charting? My friends. Other than your friends? <laughs> Other than that? Definitely the vibes, right? Mm. People here are very relaxed. Right, let's walk back. Am I getting a ride back as, as a cameraman or? People bathe outdoors, like they're not bathing, they're just washing off sand, perhaps. Anyway, my ride's here. <laughs> See you guys. How are you enjoying trading so far? Well, I don't want to go home, you guys go home. You go home, you don't want to go home. <laughs> so what would you recommend to people who are watching this vlog? Stand over there, come here. Stand, happy, come here. Have a good, come here. Are you running away now? <laughs> running away from problems! Okay, what about you? I love it here. Okay, what's the thing you love the most about trading? I am not joking when I say there is a lot of cats on this island. 
I think it can be a surfer plus cat island and all the cats are so chill. I don't know whether if they are island cats or what, but they're so chill, like without a worry in life. And they're not afraid of human at all. So Wendy actually got a bunch of cat food to feed the stray cats all around. And yeah, we were hunting for stray cats to feed. And that is just my friend who is having a quarter life crisis just casually talking to the cat about life. That concludes my impromptu treat to Chirating without any expectation at all and it was pretty good like I feel like we had like a reset from the hustling bustling of city life and actually just enjoy ourselves there even though it was just a short two days trip it honestly felt like a week like time passes by so slow there I hope you enjoyed this vlog and go watch my the other travel vlog that I did on Lexus Hibiscus in Port Dixon. you know see it for yourself